Guys, I just won one of the most competitive yo-yo contests in the US completely by accident. So about two weeks out from the contest, my sponsor Ben McPhee gave me a call to talk about these yo-yos we're about to release, the Evan Negao edition Loop 720s. Available on evannegao.com, by the way. And he suggested that I compete in the 2A division of this contest to promote my new yo-yos. He was saying how the 2A division, historically speaking at this contest, isn't really that competitive and I'd probably have an easy chance of winning. So I agreed and I signed up. But about a day before the contest, I looked at the competitor list and I realized two crazy things. The first thing I noticed was that one of the competitors on the list was Yoshi Mikamoto. For those that don't know, Yoshi is a multiple time regional champion and a top two finisher at the national yo-yo contest in the 2A division. But that wasn't even the craziest thing. The second thing I realized is they changed the format of this competition so that there's a combined division, which meant I wasn't only competing against people in the 2A division, I was also gonna be competing against people in 3A, 4A, Betrayer. and 5A all four. So I looked at the list again and I realized I'd be competing against Aaliyah Tan, who is a current top three finisher at the National Yo-Yo Contest, and also Jared Marcus, who is a current national champion in the 5A division. So when I saw this, I just raised my arms and I was just like, all right, well, there's no chance I'm gonna win this. Because of that, I really didn't practice very much and um, I wasn't really prepared for my routine at all. But I think knowing that I was probably not gonna win was a huge stress reliever and it allowed me to just feel free and have fun with it. I guess being in that stress-free mode, I ended up hitting super clean. And I was thinking to myself, hey, that was like a pretty good routine actually. And then I watched Aaliyah Tan perform and I realized that she made a lot of mistakes. I also thought back to Jared Marcus's routine and remembered that he had quite a bit of dead time in his routine where he wasn't doing any tricks. So later in the day, results were being announced and my friends and I were just sitting around and we were just eager to see how I did in the X Division. First they called third place, Aaliyah Tan. I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. She, you know, it wasn't the cleanest routine from her. Uh, and then they called second place, Jared Marcus, national champion, Jared Marcus. And I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. And then I thought to myself, wait, that either means I didn't podium at all, I didn't get the top three, or I won the contest. And finally they called out first place. Evan, they go! And I was like, what the heck? I didn't even, like, I didn't even practice for this. Like, I shouldn't be winning this. Uh, and I was really confused, but I just walked on stage and got my trophy. And I was like, oh, okay, well, this is cool. But after the contest, it started making a lot of sense because like I said, I hit really clean. So yeah, that's how I accidentally won one of the biggest contests in the US. And hopefully that helps me sell more Loop 720s. You already know, evanegat.com. You can <laughs> pick up this yo-yo or any other yo-yo there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed living through it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. So I love your faces. See ya, bye.